Okay guys, so I'm gonna go to Google, just search for this. I'm gonna link this up where I got this from so you can look it up. And you'll just have to click on that link right here. And it will take you to a creator who has created this MATLAB code. And I've just downloaded it here. And I'm gonna run it. So you get that face plot right there. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the case of a resistor. In the resistor, voltage and current are in phase. So I'm gonna put zero, zero where the phase is and I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna hit go. So you can see right there that the voltage and current peaks appear at the same time and the voltage and current phases are in line with each other. So with, they are rotating in a circle at, with a certain angular frequency. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this. So now let me go and change it up. Now we're gonna look at inductors. So let, in the inductors, the impedance is omega L, it leads by 90 degrees and the current lags by 90 degrees. So voltage leads the current, okay? So let's see what the waveform and the phasers look like for this. So here you see the voltage phaser appears before the current phaser and it's an anti-clockwise direction. And if you look at the peaks, the voltage peak appears first before the current peak. And, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, pause this, and let's look at capacitors now. So in capacitors, the impedance is lagging, so it's 90 degrees, and the current actually leads the voltage by 90 degrees. So I'm gonna hit calculate and go. So now you see the current leads the voltage. So the current peak appears before the voltage peak. And look at the phases. The current arrow appears, uh, the current phaser appears before the vo voltage phaser, right there, the current phaser in blue, All right? So that is it. Thank you for watching this quick demo. Thank you guys.